Y'all redneckers, this is the redneck vlogger here. Monday around one o'clock. Just sitting here um thinking about stuff to say and kept hearing this noise outside. I thought the house blew up or something. Well was <laughs> dumb redneck. I went outside, looked, couldn't find it. I had to come back inside and sat down checking out um YouTube. And it did it again. I was like, what is going on? So I go out and look. Didn't see nothing. Kept looking and kept looking. And I was like, what is going on? And I asked the neighbors, I heard popping sounds out here. And they said somebody's been shooting off fireworks most of the morning. Durr. God. But that sounded really close to the house. That freaked me out. Um, Mom doing a lot better today. That That's... A lot of relief off my mind. It's <laughs> she's talking real good. She's interacting. She's being mama. She's being a pain in the butt. She's mocking me. She's actually doing pretty good. She got up, walked a little bit. I think that was great. She's holding her head up. Um, she went. She just went. She was up for a while and she went to go lay down, but. Mom used to do that a lot. She used to sleep a lot, you know, back in the day, too. So, I gave her, I let her sleep. But she's doing pretty good. Um, I'm trying to think of what else to say here. But, yeah, I kept hearing that noise outside. And it was like, pop, pop. I was like, what the hell? I thought somebody shot the house or something. I was fixing to get up and get all a little rudely. I thought the red nape block was fixing to go off on some people. Mm -hmm. But um, it's nice and gloomy outside. This it's all cloudy. It's, it feels pretty good. It's not you know too cold, but it's you know it's just right for us rednecks. Get a little rain out there and get some mud going. We can go full rilling, mud slinging, having a good old mud time. I don't know. I digress. One day I'll get back into that. Oh. Mama, I'll have to build a sidecar inside my four wheel, put mama in it, and we can go mudding. <laughs> I had a weird dream last night. I have weird dreams. I don't know about you all, but I, I have dreams of fighting. You know, monsters, vampires, werewolves, zombies. But they're not nightmares to me. They're common dreams. And have you ever died in your dream? I've died in my dreams. I've died a lot of times in my dreams. and I don't know. I've died by the hands of innocence. And I've died by um, other people. And... I've died by monsters, falling off cliffs, falling off ladders, swinging to my death onto a spike. <laughs> hey, that's a redneck for you. Hey, y'all watch this. Famous last words, right? I'm usually good when I'm fighting the monsters in my dreams. I got a post-apocalyptic mind, but the body of a 90-year-old, I guess you could say. I'm not really... Popka looks ready, but I mentally I'm ready. I know if I have to kill somebody, I'm gonna do it. If I have to protect what's mine, I'm gonna do it. If I have to kill somebody to to kill, help those somebody I love or somebody I care about or help you know somebody, I'm gonna do it. I'll pop you in the head right now. Come here, come here, come here. I'm feeling a little better. I've got the chills still. But, mm, Mom's got a little bit of chill too today. Maybe that means uh, she's... Uh, I don't know. Been watching a lot of YouTube. It's, um, a lot of the guys I watch, they play The Hidden. Eh, they're so funny. I think they're so hilarious. It's something that, you know, like the Terminator comes out. Not Terminator, but the Predator comes out and gets you. 
that's my kind of game. I mean, first person shooter and stuff. It's comical. Um, been reading a lot of my friends' postings on Facebook and stuff, and on Meet Me. I don't know why they changed the name of Meet Me. I don't really get on Meet Me that much, you know, it's the old yearbook. I just get on it just to make sure I get some money and stuff. But it gets out of, it gets me out of my head and gets me into an element that, you know, it's not here and it relaxes me. That's like when I'm playing my games, playing my uh, uh, first person games or playing Minecraft. Any of y'all out there play Minecraft? If you ever wanted to play Minecraft with me, we're, uh, we can multiply that. Um, I don't cheat. I do everything by the book. It takes me a long time to get up what I got, and I've got a lot of stuff made up. Uh, I, I don't make fancy houses and stuff like that. And I, I've been on um, Junkyard 128's uh, server, and he's... People on there make some immaculate houses. They ought to be architects. I don't. Junkyard, he makes some nice houses too. I just. I just make, you know, what I need. And. That's it. A room for enchantment, a room to. Grow my vegetables, a room to sleep in, room for all my cooking utensils, my storage room. I made an island this time. I made me a new world and I got a I'm on an island. I made myself a little island and walkway and stuff. So the zombies can get me and the creepers. God, I hate creepers. <laughs> Sneak up behind you. Oh god. Finally found me a bunch of diamonds. Whew. That's the fun part. The fun part's going down and mining and Finding diamonds and fighting the zombies. I don't mind fighting the zombies and the skeletons. It's just damn creepers, man. I can't. Even. Ooh, they get on my nerves. And then uh, I was reading on the forums you can do game mode. I was like, what is game mode? And that's creative mode, is what it is. And I was like, oh, that's cheating. I mean, I don't want to cheat. I want to do this for, you know, Survivor. But I digress. Yeah, like I said, mom's doing a lot better. She's laying down right now and. I've been up since about 8, 8 o'clock, 9, somewhere right in there. I ain't had nothing to eat yet. I ain't been hungry. I don't know why. Maybe make me some grilled cheese here in a minute. Just get something on my stomach. Mom ate, she's ate a pancake. Yesterday she ate three times yesterday. And that's amazing for her. She usually only eats once. And that was amazing. She got a lot, a lot in her stomach and stuff. Um... But she was real groggy yesterday, like last night. She couldn't speak. She was and it kind of worried me. And I had to pick her up and carry her to bed and stuff. But she walked back here just now. I mean, like it was nothing. And I, I thought that was great. I mean, I I minute her. She's a fighter, and I give her that. Well, I'm gonna end the vlog here and. um Keep playing for my mom if y'all don't mind. And I appreciate it. When all y'all who do, and I appreciate all those who've been helping me. Um, uh, the people who come to visit mom, thank you all. I appreciate y'all coming to visit mom. And uh, please keep coming. It brightens her day. And Mary Beth, thank you for coming and um, visiting mom. And that's that's one big thing. She she loves that. I know it's not Mary Beth anymore, but Miss Bethany. And uh, Tammy and Christy, thank you all for coming to visit Mom. And everybody who's, who's called and, th and asked about her. And Last night I was talking to Christy and she was talking, you know, asking how Mom was. And she was real late last night painting the room. I think she just does it to get high. I don't know. Just my guess. Christy's a strange girl. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is we went ghost hunting one time, me and Christy, my brother. Tammy and um, what's that dude's name? Troy Prather. And we was riding for a long time, and I got a bad knee, and I swung my legs out and was about to get out, and she closes the door on my hand. It didn't hurt; it just pinched between the rubber pieces, and I was like, um, mm, "Excuse me." 
Excuse me, can you open the door, please? And she just dies, sits there and dies laughing. It's it was comical. She didn't hurt me. It was just you can tell what pinched my arm and stuff. Pinched my hand. It was comical. We had some good times going ghost hunting. So if um uh, you know, once mom gets better and y'all wanna go ghost hunting, y'all hit me up. I'll go with you. Like my friends used to say, he'll go first, he'll be the bait. Yeah, I never thought about that. They even got me a shirt. I, I wish I still had it. It said the hell I'll go first. It said I'll go first. And on the back it has a big bullseye and it says bait. <laughs> I thought it was kind of comical. Well, that's the ten minute mark. I'm gonna get off here. YouTube only lets you do fifteen minutes unless you're uh, one of the serious gamers. Hopefully one day I'll be up there with them. So I hope y'all like my commentary and uh, you start giving me suggestions what to talk about. I'll talk about just about anything. I'm not a racist guy. I will not talk about racist stuff. But I'll just talk about anything. Yeah, I do cuss. I'm, I apologize for that, but I'm just a redneck. Well, this is Redneck Blogger. Y'all have a good rodeo of a day. I mean, you hide behind your lows belows. Y'all keep, uh, keep on going. Have a good day. Redneck Blogger out. Peace.